He needs 13 to break it. And that's Ben Burrows over. Richie Tung on the stop. I needed to do in order to make my mark in history. I wanted to become the all-time leading rusher, period. I knew Walter Payton was one of the best to have ever played the game, and I wanted to achieve that level of greatness. A profound thank you to Mr. Jerry Jones and the Jones family for believing in a kid from Pensacola, Florida, who was five nine and a half who people say was not big enough or fast enough. Compared to the other backs, maybe he doesn't have the, the total breakaway speed that some of the others do, but obviously Dallas will go with it. Makes up for it really, Chris, with quickness, elusiveness, and he has that tackle-breaking ability that you look for. Word now the Dallas Cowboys might be about to change hands is stunning many fans across North Texas. The way it's being done is shocking. What we do know is this. Arkansas oil man Jerry Jones is in Dallas and wants to buy the team. We also know that Miami coach Jimmy Johnson is in Dallas, staying at the mansion under an assumed name. Reports are that Jones will buy the team and Johnson will replace Tom Landry. And here's something even harder to figure. Miami coach Jimmy Johnson is in Dallas and Jones reportedly will replace Tom Landry with Johnson. Has made a deal to do that and nobody tells Tom Landry either. Proud to be the head football coach for the Dallas Cowboys. And I'm excited to be the head football coach of the Dallas Cowboys. Jimmy Johnson steps into the shadow of a legend. The former college coach officially takes the place of Tom Landry. On first down, Walker into Cardinal territory. And he gets stopped by Lonnie. On second and three, Walker breaks it inside the 20. And out of... But at 2.30 in the afternoon, Herschel left with his agent Peter Johnson and Jerry Jones's son Stephen. They were headed to the airport for a flight to Minnesota on Jerry's Lear jet. Herschel's bags were packed with Cowboys memories, but his thoughts were on the future as a running back for the Minnesota Vikings. But Herschel could be on his way to the Super Bowl, while the Cowboys could be on their way to the toilet bowl. Jerry over Channel 8 Sports in Las Colinas. It's a great honor and thrill to present to the Hall of Fame Dallas quarterback, number eight, Troy Aikman. Traded this choice to Dallas in return for two picks in this draft with which Dallas holds. Specifically, Dallas gives to Pittsburgh Minnesota's pick in the first round of this draft, which is the 21st pick which uh, Dallas has held. And also, Dallas gives Pittsburgh San Francisco's choice in the third round, the 28th pick in the third round of this, tra this draft. Those two picks go to Pittsburgh, and Dallas is now on the board. There's a strong possibility, maybe Dexter Carter, maybe the little back, maybe the guy to come out of the backfield to help Troy Aikman. This, this high? Well, we'll know in a minute. I mean, that, it, with all the other backs there, that would be a, a bit of a surprise. I'm sure, Mel, you'd agree. Under the, uh, under the trade that I just described, Dallas selects Emmett Smith, running back from Florida. Be prepared to, to dig in for a while because uh, Emmett's agent, Richard Howell, who represented lawyer Tillman last year, and he really never became uh, came over to the Browns until about a third of the regular season was in. So Dallas is obviously prepared to, to dig in and get just a, a, a marvelous back from Escambia, Florida. Emmett Smith. So offensively, Johnson may be starting to put the pieces of the puzzle together. The, the one Smith, 
possibly going to Tampa Bay with a fourth pick back in March. I figured that Emmett Smith was still a top 10 caliber player. I think the agent situation pushed him out of the top 10 and down to where the Cowboys figured they had to trade up to get him. Shaw Walker trade in the draft picks that he wouldn't call it a, uh, a bad trade, but he did say that he gave up too much for Herschel Walker. So some of those picks helped Jimmy make some other moves. And Jerry Jones is with us, the uh, owner of the Cowboys. The deal for Emmett Smith, the Cowboys trying to trade up most of the day. You were back there in the war room. What was the importance of getting Emmett Smith? Trade, and uh, we were able to take one of Minnesota's picks and uh, get Emmett. It's a tribute to the depth of the draft. Uh, for Emmett Smith to be there at this time was a real thrill for us. We wanted to uh, uh, improve our position at running back, and he's a great back. Uh, his agent held uh, his client out last year that was early. Is this a concern? Is this something you looked into when drafting? But, uh, Emmett speaks for himself. His performance on the, on the field, consensus All-American as a junior, uh, it's great that he's a cowboy. One here, Emmett Smith in the ball game. Top pick, held out of camp, just signed last week, and he's already in the ball game. Daryl Johnson in motion on second and on draft pick in the lineup for the first time, and Smith touches the ball moves up the middle to 10 from the 26. And then Smith, he's inside the 25-yard line. Emmett Smith, the ball carry. And Emmett Smith with the first down, plus one second down. Complete to Emmett Smith, and Smith still on his feet. Has the first down, plus a yard. So Emmett Smith, who said that most of his short time here with Dallas has been spin. Bounce once, bounce twice, go for a little balance with a hand down, and he keeps right on going. Smith faked out that time. Well, Emmett Smith is, is fairly similar in body type to a Barry Sanders. He's five foot nine, weighs about 199, 200 pounds, and carries an awful lot of his weight in his lower body. The difference between him and Barry Sanders, Emmett Smith looks to be incredibly strong upstairs. First and ten for the Cowboys. This is Emmett Smith. Bounces off of one tackle, has the first down, and pulled out of bounds by Todd Bo It is Emmett Smith. Touchdown, Dallas. So Emmett Smith, with all kinds of daylight, Gives down, and there's nobody around that corner for Emmett Smith to even have to avoid. First career touchdown for Emmett Smith. I Smith, whom Jimmy Johnson says is one of the best blocking fullbacks around. And you'll see that. Emmett Smith, first down Dallas. Emmett Smith again behind High Smith. And he's up. And he keeps it on the ground as Smith. He won't get the first down here in the second quarter. They'll keep it on the ground to Emmett Smith. Scheduling court. Smith behind his blocking on second down. 360 degrees. Inside. Quick. Oh, wait a minute. He's got it now. 20 carries for 100 yards. And a touchdown. First down at the Bucks. 14. Emmett Smith. Smith. Touchdown. Position. Second, short, Aikman for Emmett Smith. Big hole. And it's a foot race as he goes left. Jerry Gray gives chase. And they catch him from behind. It was Gray and Bobby Humphrey. And they're and Smith. To about the nine. Wilbur Marshall. I like this Emmett Smith. Uh, you know, he came to camp late and was a you know, number one draft choice and a whole lot really didn't have the training camp and get to know the offense, but I think the Cowboys got something here in this guy. They went into Smith. Scoops down to the one. They had him in the backfield. Emmett Smith. I haven't seen a referee signal. the 12 of Phoenix. Smith turning the corner. Touchdown. Smith. No question about this one. Touchdown. Cowboys. First and 10. Ball from the left. Smith. The ball carry. Still on his feet. Dodger. Suki. Touchdown. Dallas. Smith. Touchdown. Dallas. 
Johnson. This is Emmett. And he slips and is given a little hand on the trip. They call it a touchdown. He slip on the turf. He makes a big cut and goes down. Okay, he's down. Does he get touched? Not there. If he gets across the goal line, they're right. It's six.